What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. As you can see, we got all the cars sitting around laying around doing some mining, you know, some work. Uh, today we're gonna mostly focus on the 350Z. And today's video is gonna pretty much be about things you just have to do for any 350Z slash G35 to make it look so much more better. So first things first, we're going to start on one of our sponsors kits for lighting at last tip uh, pretty much we're gonna change out all the bulbs and lighting on all the areas of the 350z uh, huh? 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 but pretty much last sent us a nice kit so you guys I, go check them out they have, a YouTube, boy. <laughs> they have a YouTube channel their page is last if auto lighting on YouTube and Last of Auto Lighting on Instagram as well as Last of Auto Lighting on Facebook. Uh, go check them out. They have a large a variety of lights, bulbs, and lenses and all types of stuff for your car needs. So we're gonna go ahead and start with those first and then after we're going to go ahead and work on doing some wrap, carbon fiber wrap overlays on the exterior of the 350Z to get some ugly, unwanted, old, 13 year old wear off your car to make it look brand new. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and go ahead and subscribe. Or if you just want to do that right now, anyways, go ahead and do that because I post, I wouldn't say constantly, but I do post. I'm not a dead channel. So, um, pretty much to take these out, it's really simple. I'm going to be using a flat head. Uh, if you're more of a precautionist type person, you can use one of those plastic clips that look similar to this to take off these. But all you have to do is get in here. There's gonna be two clip sides and you're just gonna use your flathead to press down on it and pull them out. It's pretty simple. I can't really record it, but they come right out. In here, you'll have what you have your lights in. You're gonna turn this and they just come right out. Now the bulb here, this is what the bulb looks like. So the next thing you're gonna do, just pretty much just pull and it come right out. This is a very weird looking bulb and I've never seen this before in my life. It looks so weird. So we're gonna change these cause they're not as great. And the other one should be bright and we'll do a light test at the end of this video when it gets a little bit darker. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So, one thing about the age of the 350Z, since it is coming down to being a 13 year old car, these are pretty much the same as what you'd have of the effect on lenses in the front of your headlights, how they do get oxidation, they get hazy. Also, if your car has been painted a couple of times and it wasn't properly masked, as you can see this blue here is off of overspray. And this overspray is a pretty good no-no to being able to project your headlights. So it's gonna be a lot of, it's not gonna be as clear. Yeah, so it lenses. It's for the, the, the license plate, you know, so. But yeah, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand these down and we're gonna polish them clean. And our handsome guy over here, Noah, is the expert. And I'll just be holding the, I'm the expert. machine. Yeah. So let's get to that now. Let's do it. In that case. So, yeah. So pretty much, we're gonna wanna wet sand these down. Uh, try to get that blue surface area off. Sanding pretty much just rubs off. It's pretty much think of scratching something really, really hard. It takes off the first layer. So once that first layer of blue comes off, it doesn't necessarily have to be polished clear, but we're gonna do it anyhow. To make sure we get the best reflective light out of them much as possible. I don't think I used the right word, but projection. Projection, yes. Yeah. Projection out. And after he's done polishing, you guys will pretty much see how it looks before we go. Well, after you finish sanding, you guys will see us polish next, and then we'll install our lights and see what they look like at the end of the video. Also, guys, we are using 1000 grit to get this stuff off, so don't, I wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. Uh, Mine is a little bit more of a special case, so it's taking a little bit longer to do because of paint, but most of it's coming off, so we should be good. But yeah, please use a thousand. If you really want to go and explore, you can try something a little bit lower, but I wouldn't recommend anything. If you do go lower, yeah. don't go lower than 
600 always sand with always sand wet not dry and if you do go 600 then step it up eight a thousand maybe 15 and then you're ready to polish so this is our before which as you can see is almost not what's the word uh, transparent and now we have this which is almost transparent before the polish so next we're going to go to our next step and polish after we finish up this in sanding all right so right now we are using mcguire's ultimate compound this is the compound you're going to want to use to pretty much smoothen out the fine scratches which you guys probably don't see fine scratches are not as you think like a nail scratch or anything they're more this is what it just say. makes it hazy yeah it makes it very hazy so when you put this on and you use your buffer and your buff pad with this compound, you'll pretty much take out those haziness in these lights and they should look crystal clear. Well, near crystal clear, if that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start on that. Possibly take you out tomorrow evening. It's totally cool if not though. Fuck no. No. I fucking hate you. I hope you fucking die. You bitch. So now that both the headlights are done, as you can see, nice and cleared up. We washed the inside a little bit, so it's a little bit wet, but it should clear itself out. We're gonna go ahead and install these back in. So we're gonna go down towards the lower end of this car and put in the new bulbs from Lassif that we have right here. Uh, they come with a one year warranty, so if they do go bad, you will be able to get a replacement for free. There's no polarity, canvas ready, and has the newest of LED technology. And of course, obviously, they're going to be more brighter than uh, halogen headlights. And this is USA customer support. Let's go ahead and open our little package. Just gonna pop this open. Comes nicely sealed in the envelope. And I believe this comes out like so. We'll put this over so I don't break anything. And we're just going to pretty much slide this bad boy in. Here. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you don't touch the LED so you don't prematurely burn them out. You're just gonna plug that in right there. And then you're going to take this one and do the same. So now, first thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure you test them out. So I'm going to turn them on, make sure they come on before I plug these back in. And I'm going to have Amar, who's under the camera right now, record this. Right. Oh my gosh. And as you can see, they're both working and they're extremely bright, but we're going to see what this is better when it gets a lot darker. Uh, so let's go ahead and set these back on and let's not keep these on too long because they're going to be very hot. So plug and play, all you have to do is take this, you're going to take and put it on the same way you took it off in reverse. So I remember this goes here in some way, you have to twist it back on, I just got to find my groove, hopefully it's the right light, that'd be really embarrassing if it was there. So that's one clip on. He's in what?
And then we just push them back in. With starting with the end clip here, push this in first, and you slide up top. And then hopefully. And that's it. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and be wrapping both these uh, pillar things on the 350Z. As you can see right here, if you get a close up, um, it's nice and scathed and nasty looking and looks unloved. So we're going to pretty much be wrapping this in carbon fiber wrap. Uh, we'll be doing the other side. So I'm going to be able to show you guys how to take it off, which is really simple. Pretty much a pry off. I don't really need this. You might need this on your Z, but all you have to do, pry gently, snap it in half. Hey, wait, hey, the camera comes right off. <laughs> so pretty much uh, what we're doing first is wiping down and washing off these panels with ammonia so uh, based soap first, which is pretty much your regular dish soap. Um, and the reason why we have to do that beforehand is so we can get the best adhesion off of the wrap. Second, we're gonna go after using wax and tar remover, which will pretty much, you know, enhance the adhesive to stick even better. So pretty much what me and Noah right now are going to be doing is cleaning this bad boy off with soap and water, and we will get back to you guys after we're done to get to the wrapping process. Now that everything's pretty much washed, we have our here two pillars. You're going to need a heat gun, and of course, obviously, the wrap itself and the razor blade. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much put heat on towards the uh, wrap that you see here. As you can see, it has these nice little crinkles and stuff, and that wouldn't look too good on that. So when you do that, you will be able to stretch out the wrap, and it will be able to fit firmly and uniform towards these pillars. Next, we're going to go ahead and start tearing this apart and cutting a piece out. So let's see if this measures up. This should be more than enough here. So we're going to cut here. We're going to cut this end here and this out on the side. And then we're going to start unveiling it and putting it over so we can have some nice carbon fiber to wrap. Got it? Yup. You gotta cut it more. I'm wondering, could I possibly take my right. tomorrow evening? It's totally cool if not for me. Fuck no. No. I fucking hate you. I hope you fucking die. Alright, both are now wrapped. I'm gonna take one just to show you guys what it pretty much looks like. Nicely wrapped. It's a little dirty because I left them on the counter a little bit, but that's what it looks like. Inside, you won't really see. It's not the greatest, but uh, yeah. That's what this bad boy looks like. Next, we're gonna put these on the car and um, show you how the lights look like because it's gotten pretty, pretty, pretty dark outside. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start closing out this video after I put these guys back on. And pretty much all you have to do is reverse the process of how you took them off, just pop them back in. It's as simple as that, it's not that hard. Any 350Z owner should be able to have 
the intelligence to do this because I know you guys are all smart. So yeah, let's go ahead and go outside and uh, put these back on. So it's pretty dark out, but uh, this is how we are looking towards the uh, wrap. Looks pretty nice, some fingerprints on it, obviously. Uh, now we can pretty much go ahead and do the test for ouch, the lights on the trunk. So we can see what that looks like now. As you can see, Jesus, this is, this is a lot. This is very, very, very bright. <laughs> <Those are tight. clears throat> wow, look, like, guys, it's literally illuminating the floor right now. Like, this is really, really nice. Um, shout out to Last Fit for these lights. Uh, make sure you guys go to their pages and go ahead and order you a pair. They don't only sell for 350Zs, they sell for a lot of other automobiles. So, go ahead. Try that out now. Everybody just put on lights on. So here's a comparison of what you would have on a stock plate light. Very dim, just barely enough to see the words. Um, then these are what we have that are aftermarket. It's a bit better, it's a tad, tad bit better, but it is not the cream of the crop it does have an uh, effect of light here but as you can see you can't see anything uh and it's pretty dark out uh so now if we go by and go back to the 350 to go look at those lights you get perfect very bright lights so shout out to them again make sure you guys go to them and let's go ahead and close out this video uh yeah let's go all right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you guys liked again, make sure you guys um, pretty much uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, put the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and hit me up in the comment section. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I like to put words of the day now, so I'm about to put a word of the day. So, um, before you do anything or any action, uh, ask yourself, are you in control or is something else in control? And if that thing is in control, what is in control, if it's good or bad, and does it help you make great decisions or bad decisions? Uh, give your answers in the comment section below, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace and God bless. Everything you have done Why is everything so wrong? This is a happy end